Will Israel continue to respond forcefully to Hamas? Why was the high-rise building targeted? Greetings to you all, and I believe you are doing well wherever you are. Please subscribe to this channel, like and drop your point of view regarding this matter. Following is the clip of Israel Prime Minister addressing the issue at hand. It's been five days since Hamas brazenly fired rockets at Jerusalem and other Israeli cities in a totally unprovoked attack. This past week, millions of Israelis were forced into bomb shelters as missiles rained down on our cities. Several Israelis have been killed Many more have been wounded. You know, and I know, no country would tolerate this. Israel will not tolerate this. Israel has responded forcefully to these attacks, and we will continue to respond forcefully until the security of our people is reinstated and restored. We've eliminated dozens of Hamas terrorists and taken out hundreds of terrorist sites including missile launchers and buildings that Hamas used to plan and perpetrate these attacks. Two nights ago, Israel also seriously degraded the terror infrastructure of Hamas. We knocked out part of the vast subterranean tunnel network that Hamas uses to attack Israel. I want to remind the world that in firing on our cities, Hamas is committing a double war crime. They're targeting our civilians, and hiding behind Palestinian civilians, effectively using them as human shields. As always, Israel is doing everything possible to protect our civilians and keep Palestinian civilians out of harm's way. Defeating Hamas does not only serve Israel's interest, it serves the interests of all those who seek peace, stability, security in the Middle East. I want to thank Israel's many friends in the international community who have strongly backed Israel's action in defending ourselves. I want to thank the President of the United States, Joe Biden, and I want to thank the many countries, including European countries, that flew the Israeli flag in solidarity on their government buildings. No one should have any equivocation about uh, the choice that is so clear here. And I want to thank President Biden for his clear and unequivocal support. This is the latest, a channel that is all about the latest news in Africa and abroad. Thank you.